Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show a second version of a cinder worm, a splinted cinder worm using chamois. I'm going to use a Gamagatsu C14S size 2 glow bulb hook that I have in my vise right now. And I'm going to end up with a product that looks like this. It's flat a flatter profile looking from underneath. This one actually has a foam head that will keep it up near the surface that I just showed you. Uh, the one we're going to make right now will have a chenille head when we're done. I'm going to use a stiff piece of monofilament that I'm showing you right now for my splint. And that's going to extend past the bend of the hook enough to keep the sh uh, chamois from following around the bend. First thing I'm going to do is take my chamois, tie it onto the top of the shank of the hook uh, with this particular pattern. And I'm going to wind over it to the bend, leaving enough off the back of the hook to sandwich my splint between that and the part that I'm going to pull over. I'm going to wind back up to the eye. And once I get up to the eye, I'm going to put my piece of mono in that's going to act as my splint to help keep this chamois that's super flexible from falling around when it will. I flattened uh, the mono up here with a pair of needle nose pliers. Makes it easier to tie it in. And I'm going to wind right back over that to the bend. Uh, the part beyond the bend is round. And I did heat the end of it with a lighter. Uh, so there would not be any sharp edges that would cut through the chamois when I'm done. Now that I'm back up to the eye, I'm going to take a wrap in front. I'm going to pull the chamois over the top. And I'll wind back over to the bend. And that piece of monofilament is right between the two right now. And I'll lock that down pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is put a head on. I'm going to use some chenille here, dark olive. And I'm going to tie this on and wrap it forward to create the head section on the cinder worm, which is usually darker than the rest of the body. Now, you could use this pattern for any kind of bleach that you want to fish in freshwater lakes. Uh, It'll serve any time, any time you want to make a chamois leech, this will work. I'm using it to create a cinder worm that's uh, specific to saltwater estuaries. Once I get the head uh, on there with the chenille, I'm just going to take a couple turns with Danville's flat wax nylon and tie it off. And I'm using red right now, it's red, it doesn't matter. Um, I just wanted something strong and I had this on my desk. Flip off that. And now I'm done with the tying part. And all I have to do is uh, get these two pieces to stick together. I'm going to reposition my hooking device and separate them. And I'm going to use this product called Terramender. It's, it's an adhesive that's made to glue fabric and leather together. It's a flexible adhesive and it dries in approximately three minutes and it's waterproof. 
I've seen it used before when they do the mole leeches, mother of all leeches, out west, so I know it works. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to measure it right and put some on my bodkin, and I want to go above my splint a little bit. I want to go beyond that splint. So I'm just giving it a thin coat like the instructions say on the product. And then I'm going to rub some on the other side. Real light, thin coat. And this will bond those two pieces together. And the splint will be right between them. And we're done. And then I'll just throw a little bit on that mono. I, I don't know how well it sticks to that, but I had some extra on my plate, so. I'm just going to bring up one side of it. I'm going to bring up the other side. Try to get that splint right dead center. And I know you can't see right now, but all I'm going to do is squeeze it. That's all you have to do is press the two together, take it out, reposition it, and squeeze those two pieces together. And three minutes, it's uh, fully dry, they say, and in 15 minutes it can be washed in a washing machine, according to the instructions on the Paramender bottle. And here's uh, the, the other one with the flat profile that I was telling you about. But uh, this thing has tremendous amount of action. Any little water current that hits that tail makes it wiggle. Uh, you can see what it looks like from the top, how limp it is. Uh, but with that splint, it does not follow around the bend during the cast. And you can make your tail to any shape you want. You can even flag, you can cut it to a point. Um, it's just very enticing to fish. I hope you enjoy the technique that I used, and uh, don't be afraid to use it. There's uh, other applications.